Hey, what's up guys? It's been a week or two since I shot a video and so I'm uh, trying to catch up on, on things here. I, um, like in the, one of the last videos, I said we've been uh, pushing really hard to hit the uh, good guys um, car show here in Texas that is actually next weekend, March 9th through the 11th. And so uh, there's been a hard push over the last couple of weeks to get this thing done. I got all new glass cut for it. I got, uh, I say new glass, uh, what I mean is uh, the last video I did actually, obviously was the, uh, um, the uh, one piece glass here. And then uh, I, I had so much trouble finding glass for this, uh, for these quarters that I finally went and had them cut um, place here locally deep Elm auto glass the guys are awesome uh, a guy named robert and and uh, so anyway back to uh, business here i uh, uh you all know i've had this engine cover made um by my my buddy brett in ohio uh, bh designs and um he made this shroud for me made the engine cover for me he's making a back deck matter matter of fact uh, the package tray he sent me pics of it last night, and oh my gosh, I can't wait to get it here. It should be here early to mid next uh, this, this this week, and so um, super stoked about that. The interior, I spent uh, 13 hours yesterday at the uh, upholstery shop working on seats, and uh, uh, I think I showed in one of the last videos that the seats, um, the seat frames, I made for the rear. Um, I had them all together. I had oh gosh, probably 15 or 20 hours in the in the whole thing, welding them up and and uh, making them work. And we decided this <laughs> this weekend to scrap them and uh, and go with a different design. And so anyway, back seats are being uh, uh, made as we speak, um, and uh, the center console is being covered now for this weekend. Uh, I'm going to have a console that will run from the uh, under dash here and it's going to stop about about here uh, right behind the uh, uh, the computer the plan is to run it all the way back here up the middle between the seats i just don't think we're going to have time to get that whole thing done by next weekend so we're on a short list of things that uh, we'll get the car ready for this weekend i uh have been tinkering a little bit with carbon fiber wrap and I wrapped uh, this shroud that Brett sent to me uh, wrapped it and then you can see behind there there's some carbon fiber underneath the mesh as well uh, with my new what $40 billet specialties cap <laughs> radiator cap but um so I'm trying to decide man if I if I like the red uh, carbon fiber or uh, if I'm gonna paint this thing, it's all all of this red to match the body. Now this piece here, you can't tell from the video, but it's got a, a very very light clear coat on it. This here is bare metal, and you can see it's starting to um, to uh, have some surface rust, which is absolutely uh, normal. So uh, I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do there for this neat next weekend show. Um, I may wrap the whole thing. I don't know. It was kind of a pain, and I've got some bubbles in this, and that's really embarrassing for me to have this car with that that kind of uh, workmanship. But anyway, what I <laughs> what I came to you guys today for was really about that. <laughs> uh, I'm installing these uh, Eddie Motorsports hinges today. I have been back and forth a hundred different times on on going with the. Uh, with this brand going with the ring brothers brand um trying to decide what exactly i am was going to use and so i finally after uh being able to go and, and put my hands on these and make sure that uh they were what what i thought they would be and and all of that good stuff um i decided that i was going to go ahead and and go with these versus ring brothers or any of the others uh, they all have negative reviews. They all have positive reviews. Um, they had, all had some neutral stuff going on. Um, I talked to Eddie Motorsports, and I also talked to several guys. Uh, uh, well, I talked to one of the uh, general mo managers up at Summit, even, and they talked to me about the uh, the strut ends uh, and said that Eddie was actually uh, Eddie Motorsports was actually had a rep out there in the last couple of weeks that were doing quality control and quality checks on those hinges um, to make sure that 
Well, basically that they uh, that they were um, of the uh, you know the concourse quality and and all of that good stuff, and that they were going to hold hit uh, hold the hoods up uh up to a certain weight i I guess you have different struts for different uh, types of hoods one is a fiberglass hood then the carbon fiber hood and then the steel hood i think the carbon fiber and the fiberglass have the same strut and then the steel hood has uh, a specific strut as well that being said uh, i was going to show you the uh, that hood that i'm talking about i'm sorry those struts that i'm talking about so this is them um really heavy duty man i mean i was really impressed uh, with the quality of these I haven't opened up the package obviously yet but I did uh, when I was at Jags or at uh, uh, Summit I did push the uh, the end of, of one of these onto the hinge to make sure that uh, that they did have the same fittings and and uh, and so anyway pretty impressed with that um, I'm uh, I'm excited to get these bolted up today uh, I've got a buddy coming over and uh, the wife going to help me uh, put these suckers on and get the hood uh, adjusted and and uh, and get that on today, and then off to uh, upholstery. Um, it's kind of gonna be gonna be crazy to see what all these guys can get done in just a few days um, that they have before the. Uh, before the uh, the show uh obviously the car is not going to be i'm not going to have it registered and drive it to the show but i'm going to put it on a trailer hopefully and trailer it out there and uh and at least have it to uh to show next to a couple of my buddies that that have really really high-end builds that um i'm excited to put my car next to theirs and see what kind of attention mine gets you know they've got hundred thousand dollar builds and mine is a uh, four year uh uh kind of a collusion between my dad and i and and uh, a few buddies and and uh this is this is a true garage build i mean it really is we we uh haven't subbed any of this stuff out um other than one of our one of my dad's buddies in in uh, west texas that did uh did the brake lines and changed out the uh the calipers for me and um put the vintage air in you know some of that kind of stuff but for for the for the 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 biggest bulk of the build on this car uh my dad and myself and then a couple of my really good friends uh we have done this thing ourselves and that's that's what's really cool about this is man this is this is uh this is what it's all about to me uh in my opinion building one yourself with your you know especially like like in my situation getting to do this with dad um it's you know this is how we build relationships and friendships with uh with uh, our buddies that we have st so much in common with and uh and look at this i mean it's just I mean, we've we've done everything the best that we can you know the best of our abilities none of us are professional by any stretch of the imagination we uh you know we've tinkered all our lives and and uh and this is kind of the result of that and so proud to say that uh that we've you know uh, kind of thrown this thing together um as a team of about oh gosh less than a dozen people really um but uh, you know the the guy that built the engine covers is has become a buddy and and uh the guy that did the stainless steel for me is now a, a good buddy and you know just just really cool stuff like that that um all in all it's uh it's been a, a real team build so um, let's get back to uh, uh, to doing these hinges. I'm gonna I'm gonna get this one uh, basically screwed in. So what you do is you hang this thing, and it says to put the struts on first, but um, but I haven't uh, I didn't want to do that yet. I wanted to test fit this thing and make sure it fit first. Um, so if you can see right in here, I've got this one bolt here started um, to hold it up in there, and then if you look here. There is this, uh, there's this kind of weird little clamp here um, that screws into the uh, the actual fender itself to hold it in place um, right there. And so I haven't obviously that's still loose. I haven't uh, haven't done anything there. I just wanted to hang it um, to see what kind of uh, what kind of clearance I had. And I've got a couple of spots that I was a little bit concerned about. One being. Um, one being this nut here, but once it's screwed in, I think that's going to be fine. But you can see it; I've, I've kind of backed it out a little bit to um, just to just to make sure that. See there, 
Um, but with that, with the bottom screwed into this hinge, I think it's going to clear with about oh, a little under an eighth of an inch uh, clearance there. And once this, uh, once this is screwed into the fender, uh, it actually doesn't screw into the fender. It screws up against the fender. Um, and holds this whole hinge in place which I like um, because it keeps the side-by-side -side action to a an absolute minimum um, you know with the uh, with the fender being the support uh, on that hinge so um, anyway I'm gonna get that one uh, the rest of the way you know just get, get everything snugged up and then do this other side over here and uh and then i'll be back i'm gonna hope to uh to make some videos of us putting the hood uh, actually on the car and then getting it adjusted and so forth i want everyone to see the uh the actual quality and the um just the uh, the overall condition and so forth of the of the uh, the hood once we get that kind of sat down on there and uh, and make sure that it's going to work so anyway uh thanks for tuning in again guys um it's going to be a heck of a uh, a fun week i'm going to try to um i'm going to try to video and document as much of this hell week as as i possibly can and that's what i'm calling it is the uh kind of the 57 hell week because this is uh go time uh, it's the uh, it's the the deadline that we've talked about for so long dad and I when we bought this car It was kind of funny because I was like, oh, we'll have it up and running for the good guys in October and that was Four years ago <laughs> So something like that anyway uh, We went deeper and deeper and deeper every time we turned around we were doing something else and and so anyway um, Good times ahead this week I've taken off some work and uh, and can't wait to show you guys what we're doing with the uh, the interior. Um, so anyway, stay tuned and uh, let's have a good week. Thanks, guys.